Well, how's it going guys? My name is Checker and welcome to today's video. It has been quite a while since we have done a Weapon Royale video, probably about a month, maybe less than a month? No, definitely more than a month. But anyway guys, for this episode of Weapon Royale, we'll be taking a look at the Ralphie's Revenge and then of course the old Etsy. Now these are actually two of my favorite sniper rifles and we actually might possibly see the Ralphie's Revenge here pretty soon. We have the Frostbite from last year currently in the weekly item store. Considering that we had three unique weapons from the winter event last year, the Frostbite, the Ralphie's Revenge, and then also the Snowball Launcher, it's completely reasonable to think that we might be getting the Ralphie's Revenge here back sometime. Could be actually in 47 hours when this weekly item store refreshes. So I figured, hey, perfect time to do a Ralphie's Revenge Weapon Royale video, and honestly guys, the old Betsy is just the perfect weapon to pin it up against, as both of these sniper rifles deal heavy, massive headshot damage. Before we go and check out these schematics, so I just want to notify you guys to go and check your support a creator, make sure that you're actually supporting somebody if you choose to, because here's the thing, I've been opening up llamas these past few days, haven't been supporting anybody, I totally forgot to support a creator, it like resets every two weeks. I'm supporting JC Echo, I follow him on Twitter and also I'm subscribed to his channel, smaller YouTuber, so yeah, help out the little guy. It appears we also have a llama here, I think this is a troll stash llama. Yeah, this is definitely a troll stash llama, I'm pretty sure. It went gold nonetheless, so we'll open it up, see what we get. The bear, not too bad. The Stormblade, really good sword. I think I actually needed another one of those. But anyway guys, getting sidetracked here, let's take a look here at these two schematics, the Ralphie's Revenge and then also the Old Betsy. Unfortunately, I do not have the resources to fully max both of these out. I would love to do that. I would really, really love to do that. But unfortunately, just grinding for that epic and legendary reperk is insanely annoying. You'll see right off the bat that the Old Betsy has a higher DPS, like a way, way higher DPS. But honestly guys, DPS is not a good real world estimate at least. Damage on the Old Betsy is way higher, 62,000 versus pretty much 14,000. Headshot damage on the old Betsy for me currently is 207,000 and then 116,000 on the Ralphie's Revenge. We have 40% critical hit chance on the old Betsy and then 56% critical hit chance on the Ralphie's Revenge and all these stats right here are influenced by the perks. Speaking of that, actually, do I have any heroes slotted that are going to influence the perks as well? I do, yeah, so I also have Ted shot Jess slotted. This gives us a 70% chance critical damage to sniper rifles, which is very nice, and my voice is definitely starting to die. <laughs> Alright, starting to lose my voice here. But just to wrap things up here, guys, what am I doing? I gotta go back to compare here. To wrap things up, though, let's take a look at the perks. These are some, I mean, the Ralphie's Revenge has better leveled up perks at least. I've got on the old Betsy critical rating, reload speed, physical damage, headshot damage, headshot damage causes affliction. And our critical hit chance is 40%. Really? That's actually pretty, I mean, that's pretty average for just one crit rating. Critical hit damage of 145. This is influenced by Ted Shot Jess being in my support squad. And then for the Ralphie's Revenge, we have element physical, 40% headshot damage, magazine size, critical rating. That's why the critical rating is so high. I have double crit rating on here. Why? Why do I have that? Yeah, just two. Why did I change this to critical rating though? That, that makes no sense. So if I had this as 40% headshot damage, I believe that the headshot damage would be around like 150,000. I believe that was what it was at before I changed this for some reason. We also have the perk headshot eliminations cause an explosion, a nice little perk to have on a headshot rifle. But overall guys, just stats wise, these weapons are both excellent, excellent weapons for headshot damage. So let's go and take these out in the field, test them out, do a little side by side comparison of rate of fire, accuracy and all that good stuff. Alright guys, so we have our old Betsy we have our Ralphie's Revenge. Let's take a look at the fire rate and reload speed of both of these weapons side by side. And this is where you can start to see having that reload speed perk on the old Betsy is extremely, extremely useful. Even though this is a one shot sniper rifle, you are able to get shots off relatively quickly due to the high reload speed. The Ralphie's Revenge is also very similar. I mean, it's a semi automatic sniper rifle, which is nice. Neither one of them have scopes. Oh man, this guy's not going down into the fight. See, here's the thing about the Ralphie's Revenge it does not do very much damage unless you're getting a headshot. Oh, dang. <laughs> one shot of that guy right there. This is a physical weapon, of course. This is a physical weapon only. You can only have physical elements on the Ralphie's Revenge. Let's take a look at these guys up here. I mean, if you can get the headshot. If you can get the headshot, excellent weapon. Let's take out a group of enemies. Oh, come on. There we go. Oh, did that clear out all of them? 
Dang, pretty much all of them. That was pretty dang good. All right, so we have two blasters up here, guys. Let's take out one of them with the old Betsy, and then, of course, one of them with the Ralph's Revenge. Start with the old Betsy. I hear a smasher. Where is... Oh, there he is. Run, run. <laughs> all right, so this is going to be a Ralph's Revenge against uh, Elemental Smasher. <laughs> Things probably will not go that great. Dang. Oh, man, nope. Oh, the headshot damage, though. Ooh, got some knockback on there, though. Oh, God. Not great for elemental smashers. Let's try out the old Betsy real quick. Come here. That's a good smasher. That's terrible, too. I mean, we're talking physical damage here. Somewhat slow rate of fire. Neither of these weapons are great for smashers. Then knockback, though, with the old Betsy. It's almost every single time with the old Betsy. Yeah, there we go. Took him out. All right, so we have two blasters over here. Let's go and do what we were originally planning to do. That's over half the health. That is definitely not. Keep in mind, we do have a lower headshot damage on the Ralphie's Revenge, which is clearly showing right there. Let's see what kind of numbers we can pull off at a moderate range. 206,000. Now with the Ralphie's, 114,000. Still able to one shot. 33,000, that was a body shot, I think. 136,000 there. So this is another advantage that the old Betsy has over the Ralph's Revenge is that it can have an element on it. I do not have an element on it. I have physical right now, but you can have an element on the old Betsy. So taking out elemental enemies is kind of a little bit nicer. The Ralph's Revenge is once again, strictly a physical weapon, which honestly is something I never really considered to be a bad thing until now that I'm thinking about it. Yeah, this is definitely a downside to the Ralphie's Revenge. Ooh, look at the reward on that encampment. We're gonna do this one. Even though Ralphie's Revenge, definitely not the best weapon for an encampment. Throwing up some turrets. Oh God. All right, what'd we get here? Guess an obsidian. Yep, Obsidian, not Bright Core. Wonderful. Ooh, we have a physical smasher up here. Oh, Betsy. Ooh. Not as much damage as I would like to see, honestly. Let's see if we can... I mean, the thing about the Ralph is Revenge. 13,000 damage there. If you don't get a headshot, you will not be doing very much damage with the Ralph is Revenge. All right, so I'm going to go for some body shots right here to show you guys how much damage these weapons are dealing with a body shot. 13,000 damage with a body shot. I'll go to this guy. Ah, yeah. 150,000? So this is, once again, a big drawback to the Ralphie's Avenge. Body shots, terrible damage. Really bad damage, actually. But the old Betsy has a decent amount of just your base damage. You can still take down an enemy with a, a body shot, but with a headshot, it does even more damage, obviously. With Ralphie's Revenge, you just have to be dealing headshots in order to maximize your damage. Otherwise, you're going to be dealing really pitiful damage, to be completely honest. Oh, we got a blaster there, too. Didn't even see that guy. Oh, totally missed. Why am I such a bad shot today? Not terrible for blasters. It works. Man, those guys. So flippin' annoying, though. I do like the uh, the headshot elimination cause an explosion. That's a nice little perk on the Ralphie's Revenge. Let's see, there we go. You can get that perk. By the way, you can get that perk on the old Betsy. I used to have an old Betsy with that perk, which I... Totally made obsidian and then recycled. All right, you guys, this mission is starting to wrap up. I am definitely going to fail it as I've built zero towers. All right, you guys, so wrapping up this video right here, the old Betsy versus the Ralph's Revenge. Honestly, guys, they're both great sniper rifles. The advantages of the old Betsy versus the Ralph's Revenge would be as following. With the old Betsy, you do not need to land a headshot in order to deal some decent damage. The old Betsy can also have an element on it. Its headshot damage is generally going to be higher than the Ralph's Revenge, whereas the only real advantage with the Ralph Alpha's Revenge that I can see, at least, is the fact that it is magazine-fed. On the Obetsi, in my opinion, I like to have a reload speed perk on there because it is just a one-shot weapon. The Ralphie's Revenge being a magazine-fed weapon really does not need a reload speed perk on it, which gives you some more options as far as perks go. And honestly, guys, that's kind of the only advantage that I can see to the Ralphie's Revenge versus the Old Betsy, the fact that it is magazine-fed. At the end of the day, though, guys, both of these weapons are both excellent sniper rifles, and ultimately, it just kind of comes down to personal preference. I honestly prefer... And this is just my opinion, I prefer the old Betsy over the Ralphie's Revenge. But what do you guys think? What is your favorite of the two weapon? If we get the Ralphie's Revenge in the store, will you be buying it? Thanks you guys for watching today's video. Hope you guys did enjoy, and I will see you guys next time.